Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check for the week of June 7th through June 14th. This is for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, so thank you to all of you who've been watching the readings, who have subscribed, liked, commented, and shared my videos. I really appreciate your support and um, this is a great way to collectively raise our, our vibration, raise our world vibration together. I think we need it more than ever right now, don't you? So let's keep going together. I really appreciate that. And um, I know it does, for me personally, I, I look forward to giving the readings. And um, so thanks for giving me an avenue to do that. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you tap the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are posted. But I post every week, so if you don't want the notifications... Um, I give weeklies, monthly, mid-month, and I, I've launched a tarot love reading that comes out. I've been doing it the first Friday of the month, but I'm going to change that to Thursdays, okay? So let's see what the guidance is here, please. Guidance for Pisces, please. Guidance for Pisces. All right. Here we go. That feels good. So we do this day by day, right? But we're dealing with mystical energy, guys. So, you know, we can only align our human timeline with the mystic, mystical so much. Sunday, you start off with the Five of Swords. Monday, you have the King of Cups. Tuesday, you've got the Eight of Cups. Wednesday, you've got the Fool. Nice. Thursday, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Friday of the Lovers, Saturday of the Seven of Wands, and then you have the High Priestess. Wow, a uh, really powerful reading here, you guys, as usual. So you have um, certainly water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have, um, you've got the fixed signs here, so that's Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. Um, Let's see here. You've got Gemini here too. So you begin, and I believe in the week, you begin, you might have a, a bit of a, a falling out with somebody. Um, I do feel like you're going to have some kind of decision to make here. And it, the, the guidance here is just stay true to yourself, Pisces. You've got a decision to make. And, and I know everyone says I'm not going to compromise myself, but let me tell you something. If I gave you an assignment to sit down, and I'm a fully licensed clinician, so that's where I'm getting this from. This is not like just preaching at people. If I gave you an assignment and said, hey, um, Pisces, I'd like you to write down every good thing you've ever done in your life, you'd probably struggle with that. Most people do. They are like, every good thing? What? I mean, I've done lots of those, but I, I can't keep this in order. I don't know. What are you asking for? What do you want? What kinds of good things? You know, you get a million questions. If I said do that and then write down every time you've betrayed yourself, I guarantee right away you'd know because the list of betrayals would be very short, but they would run deep. So stay true to yourself, and that's the guidance I'm getting. But you begin here, I do feel like you have a, it's kind of like, I feel like a spat with somebody. I do feel like you have a relationship going on here. It feels good to me. It feels like there's love here. There may be some minor disagreements and it's over like mundane stuff. It feels like it's over stuff about a house like, or you know, even like landscaping, where to trim stuff or where to put the ottoman. It's like crap like that. Or should we go to try to take a road trip or not? And there's kind of like some bickering is what I'm getting with this. Um, so just be aware of that. You know, I do feel like there's bickering with an apology so you have on Monday, you've got the King of Cups here. And this is love. There's real love here. And I do feel like if you have a bit of a falling out with somebody, there's going to be an apology. But it's minor, but it's just kind of cautionary because it feels like you just want to keep that contained so that it doesn't become a pattern in a relationship. Um, I, again, I do feel like you got a situation coming up with work where... There may be some things here where you're going to need to reorganize some things. I do. I feel like there's sort of a sensitivity here or a sensitive person around you that may be a bit of an issue. Um, but on Tuesday here, you've got the Eight of Cups, and this is definitely it's it's you know it's movement in the tarot. Eight signify movement, but you're moving up. 
So for some of you, you may get some kind of a small promotion or even a, a movement to like a better area where you work. I'm getting that for somebody. They get like a choice of moving their area and it's preferred for them. Um, and it's nice. It's not a huge deal, but it is nice. But I also, on an emotional plane, I do feel like whatever happens on Sunday, that's a change. And it allows you to kind of look at the relationship, the look at the landscape and kind of, I, I don't know, I feel like there's some conversation coming about how you communicate with each other. And like saying, we need to improve this because I do love you, but I think this is becoming a problem. I mean, I, I'm getting that more and more. Um, you have the fool on Wednesday, and this is all about infinite possibilities. It's pure potentiality here. And um, it's the truth. It is looking at your life with clean, fresh, clean eyes, but looking at your life with truth um, and really evaluating. I do feel like for some of you, it's about walking free of past experiences. So whatever is going on in this relationship, I feel like it needs to be um, isolated from previous relationships, you know, kind of keep keeping it separate from what somebody else might have done because this is new and it's different and it's, um, there's freedom here. Yeah, there really is. It's all about taking a leap of faith too. So for some of you too, I mentioned the work life and moving. Um, it does feel like there's something about trusting somebody at work. They are trustworthy. So if there's been some hesitation there, it is coming, that's coming forward that there's somebody here at work that I do believe you can trust. Now you have this Wheel of Fortune card on Thursday and this is a 10. It's a change but it's like the wheel's always moving in your in your favor here. So I do feel like for some of you you get something like I said a move at your office or in where you work that's very favorable for you. Um, and I also think you have a turning point in, in a relationship that things that have been, like I said, a little bit of bickering or disagreement or just kind of quarrelsome gets a lot better. It's like it starts to get momentum towards really working through things and also to taking a lighter approach, not being, don't take yourself so seriously. I hear that. Don't take yourself so seriously. Um, so for somebody here, they're learning to do that, you know, wear the world like a loose fitting garment because we're souls having a human experience. And sometimes when the ego is too much in charge, we begin to become very sensitive. And I'm that way too. You know, I'm sensitive to energy anyway. And so it just, I understand it. I understand why we do that. Um, so you have here on Friday, you've got the lovers. And again, I feel like you've got a deep love for somebody here. There's love here. There's passion here. And I think there's a choice just to treat each other well. There's a decision to um, really take care of each other's hearts. And, um, you know, for some of you, you may have kind of a, you know, a Friday night where you just want to stay in and you don't really want to be around other people. And again, we're not around a lot of other people anyway, but, um, I still feel like there's sort of this, I don't really feel like going out and being in public and dealing with that whole thing. I'll just stay in and it feels really good. So there's a commitment here. And um, it's definitely a long-term commitment. And so if there's something new blooming here, it definitely feels like it's long-term. It's blessed by angels, you know. Um, but it's also, too, a relationship that's going to be very valuable on your path. It's like it leads to a new understanding of life. And, um, and even like learning how to negotiate with people. I, I just get that there's a real learning curve here. So you do have the seven of wands here, and this is about moving forward. It's victory and success though. So I do feel like you get things turned in a nice direction where, um, you know, if there's been, like I said, some minor conflict, that kind of drops away. I think that you both can see the good in things and um, it really, it just is about not letting small things bother you. You know, you see that these wands are pointed at as shins and ankles and he's so much above them. It's kind of like, too, for some of you, you may have somebody that is around your company on Saturday who kind of wants to start a little bit of a fight and you're above that. I get that. Like, it's you're above that. You won't get involved in it. 
Now, Sunday, you have the High Priestess, very psychic card. So for those of you that are getting intuition about something, follow your gut. It's going to be important. Um, there's, like I said, a real importance here of being true to yourself. Um, because with this card, this is a, a lot about somebody hiding who they really are. But it's also, too, for you. This, for you, I feel more than any other time I read this um, recently, it's really about like an opportunity for you. It feels like work again, where you've got potential, but if you don't act, it's never going to be actualized. Like, I feel like you have an opportunity and it's an idea. It's like it's something that keeps coming to you in your mind and it's your intuition. And if you don't act on that, it's not going to come to fruition. So there, there's some kind of action you need to take and there's some fear associated with it. Um, so for some of you, if the relationship stuff hasn't resonated and you are thinking of someone and saying, I, I, I'm interested in somebody, but it's, this doesn't completely connect, I feel like you need to move forward. You need to take some action because if you don't, you're going to regret it. Um, so I just got that very strongly at the end. So for whoever that's for, start acting because it will pass you by. That passi The passivity in this card will allow it to pass by. So... This is an oracle card for attracting more love into your life. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. So I feel like it really does have to do with that end piece with the high priestess. Trust in that. Trust in your intuition. And we will close on asking it is given from Abraham Hicks. My greatest gift to give is my happiness. Very true. The greatest gift that you could ever give is your own happiness. When you are in a state of joy or appreciation, you are connected to the stream of source energy that is truly who you are. And anything or anyone that you are holding as your object of attention benefits from your attention. So you can have, do, or be anything. We attract how we feel. So, you know, again, think good thoughts and, and raise your own vibration and you will attract every single thing you want. If you can see it in your mind, you can have it in your reality. I love you so much, Pisces, and I'll be back again soon.